All right, now, when you hear seasonal affective disorder, or AD, you, like me, probably associate it with the cold and dark days of winter. Sure. Uh, that occurs at the same time every year, typically through periods with less sunlight. But here's a really interesting thing. Seasonal depression can also affect people during the warmer summer months. Norman Rosenthal is with us now. He's a clinical professor of psychiatry at Georgetown University School of Medicine and the author of an upcoming book about seasonal affective disorder called Defeating Sad. Good to have you with us. So tell us, uh, I think there's going to be a lot of people who reacted like Errol and I did that was surprised that no. seasonal affective disorder can actually come at different seasons than just the winter. What makes summer different from winter when it comes to seasonal depression? Well, it is kind of surprising because if you're somebody who hates winter, it seems ridiculous that anybody would hate summer and vice versa. But the way the seasons work is that different people are vulnerable to different things. So, for example, in people with summer sad, they may have trouble with the heat, the uh, light, too much light. Uh, they may have allergies. They may have their circadian rhythms disturbed. All of these things can trigger a depression. And it's really important to realize it because otherwise everybody else is having this great time out on the beach and cavorting around and no worries. And these people are really having a hard time. And it's great that we recognize that A, they're there and B, there's a lot we can do about it. You know, I want to understand, Professor Rosenthal, the difference between what you're describing, a seasonal depression, and then some people just kind of being grumpy, right? It's hot outside in lots of places. It's humid all over the place. There's summer weather that's crazy. Um, how do people know that it's a much more serious type of depression? Well, I, I think that's a, a great question because a lot of us get grumpy for a lot of reasons. But when you get depressed, you really are more than grumpy. It's affecting your energy. It's affecting your productivity, your ability to socialize and get things done. Once these functions begin to flag and fail, uh, then when you're grumpy, plus you've got all these things, it's probably more than just plain grumpiness. It's probably a sort of depression. Well, well what do you recommend to help people who are experiencing seasonal affective disorder? One of the things about summer seasonal affective disorder is it's not as well studied, but there are several things that my clients have said really help them. The one is keep cool. Now, this can happen in different ways. You can keep cool in your home. You turn on up, you turn the cold up in the air conditioning. You close the curtains. That's one thing. Not a whole lot of fun, but if you're depressed and it helps, okay. There are other things that you can do outside. You can swim in cool water. You can walk, hike, go up to cool part, parts of the country. I know one of our people with the uh, uh, summer sad went up to the northern part of New York State and swam in the cold water of the Finger Lakes. And when she did that regularly, it just settled down. And even when she came back home, it didn't recur to the same degree. So. Take the heat away. That seems to be one culprit. Uh, take the light away. I've had people with that, that just can't bear the long light. The One of my clients said, the light cuts through me like a knife. So cut wow. down on the light. These are a couple, but there are other things I can mention as well. It's all very useful. Uh, Dr. Professor Rosenthal, Defeating Sad by Keeping Cool. Thanks for being with us today.